In the latter part of the afternoon, we make sure that our gym is open for basketball, bowling, uh, pool, uh, swimming in the pool, uh, playing pool or billiards, uh, working out in the fitness center, and even our squash courts. Uh, we have some outdoor tennis courts, and, uh, and some guys just enjoy walking around the property. That I never thought I will. There are things that we must do. Saturday evening after Mass, an evening prayer with, the, with our theologians. Uh, we come together for another talk, and there's usually a movie uh, that ties in with the theme of our, uh, of our retreat weekend. We have a beautiful, in the evening, a beautiful um, rosary vigil, an outdoor vigil in the cloister, and uh, that has always been one of my favorites, to watch the guys also uh, ask for Mary's intercession and and walk around in the cloister and, and just uh, uh, invoke her name to, to help them uh, discern because she's the queen of discernment. Then the next day, Sunday, uh, is we have a family mass. We invite family members to join us, and and that's always great because the guys bring their families to see what this is all about, and so the families can walk around, talk with uh, any of the priests, and meet some of the other young men on the retreat. have a nice, uh, uh, nice little bite to eat for breakfast before we send the guys home. Um, that takes place over the course of, the, uh, of each year and we, our hope is that a young man at whatever stage, freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, would enter the program and begin walking uh, in that path of a vocation. What's fun is to watch how these people who would be so apparently different join together in this common, uh, this common goal of allowing God to enter into their hearts, to uh, cooperate with these young men, to uh, prompt them to uh, uh, nourish the uh, sense of vocation, and to encourage them to take further steps should priesthood be their calling. The uh, most significant elements of a retreat are really things that uh, are not seen and are not heard. It's the work, it's the operation of God within the mind and within the soul. When I joined in September of 2005, we had a holy hour in a place in the seminary. It's a religious place that's called the Zoo, with the Christian Brothers of the Renewal. And I truly believe that that holy hour renewed my vocation, my willingness to become a priest. It gives me a chance to get away from all the high school teenage drama of the week and just, with, you know, relax with a great group of men. It's really been great for me this past year. It's really helped me grow in my faith and my vocation. It's a very different environment compared to, like, being outside with people that would reject you, would rebuke you for what you're thinking about. Uh, I guess I was uh, in high school myself uh, the first time that I thought about becoming a priest. Uh, you know, I am uh, originally from Mexico City, and it was uh, during a, a retreat, kind of retreat, a retreat like uh, the one you have uh, here with, with the with the prep. Uh, it was just uh, an experience that it really, it really uh, gave me what I was uh, looking for. Overall, what's the mission? It's to challenge a young man to answer the Lord's call to serve and to ask the Lord if priesthood is the calling. And if it is, then to provide even further help 
for the young man who might have tons of questions about becoming a priest. We really need very good priests, priests who will imitate the Lord and uh, lay down their lives for God's people. If you are interested in being a priest and you would like to help people, it's a wonderful vocation. But there's something else to the priesthood. And that is, every day, usually every morning, God himself reaches to the world in which we live, the world of matter, of the material cosmos. And he brings into this world the miracle of the Blessed Eucharist. And God, the Son of God, the infinite Son of God, is there in your hands. What a wonderful, mysterious thing. And everyone is called into that mystery. But it is put into the hands and on the lips of a priest. If you hear the call, answer it. You've got nothing to lose by examining, trying, discerning, and asking God, is it for me, Lord, or is it not? It won't be easy. No good thing is easy. But it will, when all is finished, be what Mother Teresa said, something beautiful for God. God bless you.